Everybody sing that shit. Hello guys, first of all I want to say sorry to all of you for not uploading any video on this channel up for about a month. But there is a reason behind that and the reason is that as you all know that in our country MBBS counseling is going on and I am also participating in that due to which I am not getting time for uploading any video. So this is the reason behind that. So sorry for this. But now I will try my best to upload a video within a week. So now let's talk about this video. So in this video I am going to do the unboxing and benchmarking of my first laptop. So without wasting our time, let's get into this video. This is a new Asus laptop from its new TUF gaming laptop series which make budget friendly gaming laptops and the name of the laptop is Asus FX504 GE-E4366T. This is the name of my laptop. I got this laptop from Flipkart at the rate of 62,990 rupees from its freedom sale. As you can see that I am of trying to open the box as the quality of packing is very very good so finally I had opened the box when I opened the box I found the bill inside it as you can see the price in the box there is another box of in which the laptop has come so this is how the box look like from there I can open this box let me cut this tape so when I open the box I found first the laptop itself in a white cloth and at the bottom of the laptop I found its user manual and after removing this cardboard I found the power cord and on this side I found the adapter itself to provide power to the laptop this look pretty and on the behind of the box you can find uh, some barcodes and the specification So this is how the laptop look like, it has a brushed metal finish on its top with Asus branding which glow when you run the laptop. So 
So let's talk about the specification of this laptop. This laptop comes with an i5 8th generation processor named 8300H which comes with 4 core and 8 thread. And you will get a 8GB DDR4 RAM stick and 1TB hybrid hard disk which perform better than any normal hard disk which run at 5400 RPM and also you will get a 128GB SSD to increase its performance and this is a good thing which come in this laptop and the main thing which makes it a budget gaming laptop it's GPU so it come with a GTX 1050 Ti DDR5 graphic card with 4GB of VRAM now let's talk about its body and its specs parameters this is how our laptop looks like on the top we will get a brush metal finish with asus logo which will glow when we run our laptop on the top of the screen we will get camera and mic itself and for the display we will get a 15.6 inch full, full hd ips display with anti glare screen with a good viewing angle on the bottom of the screen we will get another asus logo and air filters for the keyboard we will get a full HD backlight keyboard with a real LED, with real LED and we will also get a full size trackpad. On the top of the keyboard we will get 4 notification light and the lights are for Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, airplane mode and charging. laptop we will get a power cable port LAN cable port 2.0 USB port 2 3.1 gen USB port and a 3.5 mm audio jack and the left speaker and on the right we will not getting any necessary port we will only get right speaker and a security lock so now let's do the benchmark Stopping us, fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'll be moving fast. Call me a shooting star. Let know you are flying up and above. Wish on a star. Time to show them who's in charge. Call me a shooting star. Shooting star, got more than a couple of people going mad. I swear they're rooting hard. Tell them I be big in a game like she went and got them breast implants. I said I'm moving too fast, didn't even get a glance. I'm ready to eat up trap like I'm seated in a restaurant. Yeah. If you had swag like mine, you know it's best to flaunt. Yeah. We are hating because you want shining like it's neon, drop like kings of neon. Shooting stars across the galaxy. So during benchmark maximum CPU temperature notice is 65 degrees Celsius and GPU maximum temperature notice is 
62 degrees Celsius, which is a pretty good thing. Now we will see the quality of its inbuilt camera and the clip which you are seeing now is recorded with its internal camera and the audio is also recorded with its internal mic. So that's the quality of its mic and camera. I think the quality is decent according to its price and the 720p camera is also working fine. So this is the quality of its mic and camera. For the gaming benchmark of this laptop you have to wait for my next video as I need time to download some games and test them. In so that's all in this video. Thanks for watching.